No matter if you play on Batlion or on Luna or Labimod, I guess, you have probably heard of this new star on the horizon of Minecraft clients. Feather Client is rising up, promising increased performance and a crazy variety of mods. Sadly, there's a huge downside that most people do not seem to be aware of yet. Payments, potential scams, and a high risk of getting banned on servers. My opinion on the Feather Client in this video. Exclusive access to a brand new client. You should probably switch to Federal Client. But there is one thing I actually don't like. People were paying for beta access. Feather Client. Feather Client. Feather Client is not allowed to legally use any of the mods. FeatherCline has basically two main selling arguments, its superior performance and its insane mod variety. And selling argument in this case is actually pretty fitting. While Lunar is completely free and Badline is free but you have to create an account, FeatherCline is not free. It is currently in beta, only accessible by purchasing early access for real money. $15 is what you have to pay to even be able to use FeatherCline right now. Rumors say it will be free to use as soon as it's fully released, but the pricey early access to me seems like a foreshadowing. I'll explain what I mean with that later. First, let us see if Feather Client keeps what it promises. The first promise about the performance actually seems to be capped. On screen right now, you see an FPS comparison between Bad Lion and Feather Client. And as you can see, Feather Client actually gives you way higher FPS than Bad Lion. The second selling argument the mod variety is also not too far from reality. Feather Client actually allows you to add any mod you would like into their client. While that might seem pretty cool at first, let us now get to the dark side behind this new and hyped client. The potential of getting banned. Remember when Lunar Client had the free look crisis? Well, basically, Lunar Client added a normal mod that wasn't allowed on Hypixel, so they had to disintegrate it and then reintegrate it but make it unusable on Hypixel. There were even thoughts to ban Lunar Client from Hypixel if they would not have changed anything about the situation. Now, look at Feather Client. With them basically allowing you to integrate every mod there is to their client, there's a good chance of it being banned from Hypixel completely. But this is not the only issue of this type. Before Lunar Client fixed their 1.7 hit registration feature that gave users of their client better hits, it was also made very clear that if this wouldn't be fixed soon, Lunar Client would be banned from Hypixel. Feather Client doesn't have the standard knockback system. In fact, if you use it, you take more knockback than you should. One of my issues with this client is I feel like it makes me take so much KB. Now, I have 100 MS, like average, so I can easily like anti-KB, not actually cheat, but I can make myself not take as much KB. And it's really difficult to do that with this client. This opens up the potential for Feather Client to give you an unfair advantage in the knockback system as soon as they fix this problem and maybe overshot it. That could also get Feather Client close to getting banned from Hypixel. The payments. Not everything about Feather Client is perfect yet. Some mods don't properly work. The knockback system, as mentioned, is still kind of weird. That is totally fine since it is still in beta, which, just to remind you real quick, you still have have to pay 15 bucks for it to access. And that makes me kind of suspicious. If the beta is not free to access, will Feather Client keep their promises to be free once fully released? Are there going to be any other non-cosmetical aspects of the client that will cost real life money as well? And now the absolute worst case, and to be fair, the most unlikely scenario, will Feather Client rock pull their customers? I know this is a little far-fetched, but with a pricey beta access, there are also possibilities for Feather Client to just stretch out the beta phase as long as possible, or even stop working on it entirely. Maybe they will release it, but not bring any updates to it anymore. Feather Client is completely new in this community, so they, first of all, have to earn trust. In my opinion, making new players pay for your beta is not the right way of handling it. First you earn trust, then you use that to earn money legitimately. I don't say Feather Client is going to actually scam their customers slash players, but the likelihood is present. Feather Client is getting developed by the same people that also developed PvP launch, so that is a pretty good indicator for this new client to be trustworthy, but this connection is not apparent enough for people that just want to try this new thing, the Feather Client. 
mind. So that might raise up some unnecessary suspicion and might keep some players away since they don't trust this new client yet. Now to end this video, is Feather Client going to be the new Lunar Client? In my opinion, this new client is going to be more of a trend than an actual alternative to Lunar. Lunar is especially known for its clean look and feel. While Feather is trying to go for the same thing, they are kind of missing it. They are basically the step between Bad Lion and Lunar. Bad Lion feels really alternative and clunky. They overdo the colors of their logo. They are too messy, too heavy on the design. Lunar is clean, modern, and feels dynamic. Feather is somewhere in between with a GUI that feels too heavy, with a starting menu that feels too alternative, and a design that isn't dynamic enough while their logo and general branding is going for the same modern and minimalistic style as Lunar Clients. My final thoughts, if Feather doesn't disappoint when it comes to regular updates and fixes, if they don't use every opportunity to make money, and if they clean their GUI and menu up to be more modern, they will be able to compete with Lunar. Otherwise, Otherwise, they will end up as a quick trend and get stuck on the level that Bad Lion has been stuck on for the past couple of years. If they do, however, try to adapt this more modern style, they will have to bring actual innovations that set them apart from Lunar, since otherwise they won't be more than just a second Lunar client that no one really prefers over the original. This is going to be really, really hard if you want to do it right. But obviously, this is just my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, so subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and good. Goodbye.